According to some random YouTube video I found, this is what schizophrenia sounds like. There's a lot of games where a main character has some sort of mental disorder, but I haven't seen a game where you actually play as one, so I decided to make one. The idea is simple, you play as a voice inside the character's head and suggest him what he should do next. You are his schizophrenia. The goal is to escape a facility that actually is a mental hospital. The main character is blind and has no chance to do so without your help. He believes you are helping him and two of you are friends. Later on he realizes that not all of your decisions were good, but more about it later. First thing I wanted to check was voice control and how it works. Unity actually made it really simple to make one. Tick a box here, write some quick code, add some keywords that invoke functions, and I am pretty much set. Go. Stop. Now I can add as many keywords and functions as I want. Since it's a hospital, it should have doctors in it. So let's go to Asprite and make one really quick. And now we have an famous Schrodinger's paradox. Can a box ever kill you? Well, it seems we have an answer. Now that we got Nobel Prize, let's replace a box with a character and make some quick animations to test it. Look at that, he's cramping! I made an animator state machine, now he can walk, turn and pick up items. Next I started working on game assets to build scenes, but then I remembered that I didn't create a jump animation, which I'll probably need, so I made that and jumped back <laughs> to working on assets. By the way, I don't show a lot of me drawing, because I don't like to slow down video space, but leave a comment if you are interested in that kind of stuff, maybe I'll make a video about making assets and animations. I've decided to use style system so I can make levels fast. Put some assets and here's your ward. You start the game here. So it was time for you to start making decisions for the character, which means you need something to interact with. I made an interface called iInteractable, which all my interactable object script derives from. It only has two functions interact and description, which returns a string with an information about object to the player. Now if you go to the doors that I unlocked, you can open the next scene. Open. Speaking about locks, I've made a boolean that checks if a door is locked. If it is, you need to find a key first. I also created super simple inventory, which in this case is a list of items you possess. And now you can unlock the doors and enter them. Since the doors led to nowhere, it was time to change that, which means creating more levels. And this is how Corridor turned out to look like. Now all I needed was 10 or 15 more levels, so I continued working on those. And now we have a level where you can find a gun, which will be needed later on. We have an insanity staircase level, at least that's what I call it, which I found kind of hard to pass with voice controls only. Jump. 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 Stop. Back. Go. Back. Jump. Back. Back. Bled back. Jump. Jump. So I made a level where you can find some pills that let you take complete control of a character, but there's a twist. When you're controlling a character, you are seeing world from his eyes. You are blind. And now in Scientist Staircase level is beatable. It's hard to climb up as a sane person, but very easy to fall down as insane one. If it doesn't make sense, it's because I made it up, okay? It's just a level. But when you go through the doors, you find yourself in your ward again, but now your roommate is dead. What is going on? The idea is that a stairs level doesn't actually exist. It's just inside a character's head, and once the character exits that, he regains control of the body. He finds everyone dead, and even assets in the game indicates that a lot of time has passed since the last time he was in control. Which suggests our character does need food somehow, so he keeps on searching for the killer and blames the doctor for it. Every time he exits any room on his search, he returns back to his place, because what he is searching is here all along. After searching the entire facility, he finally finds a doctor hiding. And a gun comes into a play. He shoots a doctor and then has a conversation while he is dying. He realizes you were the one who killed everyone. He was the one who killed everyone. And only way to stop the killer is for him to die. So he puts a gun into his mouth and it's game over. 
and that's pretty much game story. Before I can release this game, I need to fix some bugs. For example, in this level you need to hide in a closet and let the doctor pass you and leave his table, otherwise you get caught and put back into your room. But you can still move while inside a closet, which can result in you sitting inside three closets at once. Quantum Mechanics After I fixed most bugs, last thing I wanted to do was to make a main menu and voice commands panel, so a person who hasn't made this game can actually play it. Oh, and I also made it more clear that you are controlling a character, since he is breathing now. If you want to try the game yourself, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching this. If you haven't seen my last video, you should definitely check it out. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like a video, leave a comment. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna speedrun the game now. If you're gonna play the game yourself, you can pause the video now and continue watching after you played it. Bye bye. That's the world record, boys. Yes.